Right. Morning everyone. Hope you're all staying safe. This one is for the one stars and the basics. We're going to do in this video. Just going to do, should, should be a short one. Just uh, cleaning your cap badge, basically. So what you need to do? You need to remove the badge from your battery before you even start cleaning. To clean it, you need of the polish. That's all. Duster. And for the guard badge to make it easier doing the, the flame bit, the toothbrush. Don't use the toothbrush to use on your teeth. It won't taste nice. Okay then. As you can see this one is the grand air guard. Some badges are made to to the effect that you, you don't need to polish them, you just need to wipe them over. They're known as stay bright badges. The grand air guards badges are not stay bright, so they have to be polished. I'm not too sure about the QOI, if they're stay bright or what but the cleaning effect is the same. So, do the polish shirt. Make your duster. Make sure it's a clean duster as well. You don't need a lot because this type of polish is liquid. So, pick your badge up, the pins on the back, don't, using them to hold it with, don't squeeze them, because they will break off. So, all you need to do, cover the badge, and you polish, leave it for a second or two, then, with your toothbrush, Especially on the ground here, guys, when you got the flames, you brush the, the polish into, in, into the grooves of the flames. That's that. Then you got your duster and polish it up. It's as simple as that. Once you've polished them with the polish, all it takes is every so often just to wipe over. Because nobody's done the fingerprints all over it. But always remember, take, take your badge off your very first. Because one thing you don't want is the polish getting onto your onto your berry. Because if it does, you're gonna end up with a mark on your on your belly that you're not going to get off. Try not to hold it too much on the front because you will get end up having to polish it up again. And that is just off a couple of couple of seconds of rubbing this, polishing it up. And there you have an nice shiny 17 flamed grenadier guard badge. So remember at least do it once a week or one if you're in the regulars you probably you, you'd have to do this every day. But once you've done it, put it put it back on your cap on your berry. What I would suggest is find a self-sealing bag and put the, put the heavy, everything in so it doesn't get dirty. So obviously if you've not got a self-sealing bag, put it in a cupboard or on a, sh on a shelf somewhere where a cat can't get, any of your pets can't get to it. 
or, or your, your siblings won't find it and start, mess, start messing it all up again. Once you've polished it, you don't want to be polishing it all the time. So, my badge. Along with this pin. This is my spur badge. Go in there. Search the way. Keep it clean. Ready to be used. If you have any questions, I'll be on well. I'll be doing a, a Zoom meeting on Thursday. If I can't make it due to work commitments, I will let, get, get somebody else to go through it all again. Next video, we'll be doing cleaning the boots. So for that, you will need a pair of boots, a few recruits. If you've not got any boots, any, any boots, a pair of shoes, black or brown. You need a a a put it on brush, taking off brush. Tin of polish. This one's for brown boots. And if you speak to, to Colour Sergeant Turner, when we get back to face to face, I'm sure we can oblige you with a tin of this stuff. It'd be cheaper than getting it off him than getting it from the shops. And also, you'll need a bottle of water and a Cloth, because I'm going to show you how to, show you how to bully you, the to, your toe caps up and the heel of your boot, ready for parades. So there we go. Catch you later.